Hey, hey everybody. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you who are uh, who celebrate it. Uh, happy holidays to everybody else. Happy solstice, whatever. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. Um, just have a have a, have a good time, whatever you do. Today I'm going to do one. I'm not going to do a holiday beer. I'm going to save those probably for the rest of the week after Christmas. Maybe on Christmas I'll do one, but uh, I'm going to do one I picked up a couple weeks ago. I, I know this has been out a couple months. I don't see a... Okay, this was bottled on 10 4 12, so it's just... It's about two and a half months old in the bottle, so... I know it's not quite as fresh as it's going to be, but or as it could be, but I'm going to do the Harvest Ale from Founders. Never had this before. I never saw it locally or I would have picked it up. Got it on my out-of-town trip a couple weeks ago. This is their uh, Harvest Ale. It says it's a wet hopped ale. So, don't know anything about it. Never, of course, never had it before. Probably won't, won't have it again until next year since I only got one bottle. Let me get it in my uh, my founder's glass here, sent to me by uh, Tony in my very first beer trade. Hope you have a good uh, good holiday with your family, Tony. Hope your work slows down so you can start doing some more reviews. Uh, we got a fairly clear golden straw color. Seems to be about a moderate amount of carbonation streaming up. Got about a about a finger of a, like a uh, fairly dense but kind of creamy looking uh, looking white head. Uh, nice looking beer. You could almost mistake that for, uh, for a macro lager if you weren't careful. So let me give it a nose and see what we have. See if any of these hops survive these two and a half months. Oh yeah. There's still plenty of hoppiness there. Um, I'm getting citrus, pine, just a, almost like a dankness or something to it, but it's not, nothing, uh, nothing uh, objectionable or anything like that. Um, getting a little bit of sweetness from the malt, but this is primarily a uh, really, really uh, hot forward, a hot forward beer, that's for sure. I don't know if this is classified as an IPA or not, but... Uh, Sure sort of smells like one. The uh, the citrus is a um, little grapefruit, a little orange, uh, maybe a little pineapple in there. Maybe a tropical fruit like uh, like uh, mango or something like that. Like I said, just a slight, slight bit of that maltiness in there, but definitely a hot forward beer, so let me give it a taste. Oh no, that's nicely piney, um, almost like a, a fruit cocktail melange there of your citrus flavors. Um, maybe a little citrus zest in there too. Uh, pick up just a, a hint of that. I guess I never never read this before, but it's a 6.5% ABV, 70 IBUs. From the website, it says this liquid dream pours a hazy golden straw color with a white two-finger head. Your first sip rewards you with super juicy hot presence bursting with fresh citrus and finishes to introduce toasted malt undertones. I'm getting just, again, just a... On the middle of the palate, I'm getting a very, very light malt. This is primarily um, citrus from... Uh, from beginning to end, um, got maybe just a slight floral uh, bitterness on the finish, but uh, really good taste in beer. Um, I'll bet it's really good fresh. Seems to me medium light to medium bodied beer. Got a really, really smooth, uh, smooth feel though. Crisp and dry finish. Um, really nice. Uh, Really nice tasting, uh, fresh hot beer. So let me sit, sip on this a while, and let me come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. 
Okay, I'm back. It's been 20 minutes or so. I've been sipping on this. I've been wandering around doing stuff, so. I haven't been total, totally absorbed by this, but, uh, giving us some good thoughts. Um, I don't know. I'm going to rate this, uh, as it's warmed up. The maltiness has come out a little bit, a uh, little bit more in the nose, but this is still uh, primarily, even at two and a half months old, it's still primarily a, uh, a hop forward, very citrusy beer. Um, on the taste, really the same thing. I'm not getting as much maltiness as I was getting, but it's still there to kind of counterbalance uh, the slight bitterness. I mean, this is not a super bitter beer, that's for sure. But this is a fairly, fairly decent representation of a, you know, an American IPA. Um, I like this. I they don't call it. I don't know if they actually consider it an IPA or what. But that's what I'm going to rate it as. Um, overall, it's. Um, it's a decent IPA. It's um, not as as epic as you have, have come, or at least from reputation, have come to expect from Founders beers. Uh, but there's definitely nothing wrong with it. It's really good. Um, it's drinkable, really easily drinkable. Um, if I haven't been doing other things, this has probably been gone, and I had nothing to. Nothing to finish the review with, but uh, this is very tasty, very bold, very bitter. Not super bitter. It's got a nice, um, pleasant bitterness to it. Um, got a nice balance. Um, if this would be a year-round beer, I, I I would buy it, especially in the uh, in the uh, warmer summer summer months. Uh, this would be a nice, refreshing. Uh, Hot weather beer, that's for sure. Um, why they bring it out in the fall, I don't know. Maybe it's because the that's the well for a shop, that's when their hops come in, I guess. So that's why they do it. But boy, if they could do something like this uh, year round, it'd be really nice. But so as a what I'm going to rate it as an American IPA, I'm going to give it a good solid. Uh, 8 out of 10. Um, decent, drinkable beer. Um, not, like I said, not, you know, sometimes you, you, from founders, at least from the reputation and the few I've had, you expect, expect something bigger and bolder, but this is just a nice, pleasant, really drinkable beer. Um, make a, a, only 6.5% and make a great session beer. So, uh, till next time, everybody, cheers. Merry Christmas to you, so like I said, Merry Christmas to you, celebrate it. Happy holidays to everybody else. Um, till next time everybody, let's let's keep drinking good beers. I'll try to get into a few of the holiday beers, my next uh, next few reviews.